are gathered together to witness the marriage of Daniel Grant and Heather Day according to the Marriage Act of Saskatchewan. On behalf of Dan and Heather, welcome and thank you for being here to share the happiness of their wedding day. By your presence, you share with them the love they've discovered in each other. It is fitting and appropriate that you, the close friends and family of Heather and Dan, be here to witness and participate in this union. This relationship will continue to draw much of its beauty and meaning from the intimate associations of their past. My name is Pat Rogan and it is my privilege to perform this ceremony today. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, and commitments are stronger. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Shelley Boyd will now give a reading from Thoughts in the Garden by Argyle. Okay. Living plants here to establish them, to nurture and care for them, that they may forever surround us with the beauty we now see. And into this place where we stand, you have brought something beautiful, the relationship that is becoming a marriage. Here, you are declaring it and pledging it, promising to establish and nurture it. We are aware of the special beauty between the two of you, just as we are aware of the special beauty of this place. We are with you now in this appropriate place to celebrate your relationship as it is, and as it is yet to be. And in doing so, we ask only that you remember how your life together will have the same seasons and needs as this garden. There will be growth like spring and loss like fall. There will be giving as the blossoming flower and rest as the seed beneath the snow. All the seasons will be yours, but remember too that gardens are not just happenings. The more wonderful the garden, the more skilled the gardener. So you will have to care deeply for the life that is yours together and nurture it. You will have to appreciate your differences and cultivate them. You will have to take care of yourself, if for no other reason than out of love for the other. And you will need the support of family and friends to reach full growth. As you caringly chose this place to declare your marriage, so remember its lessons for your life together, for the seasons that are yours to share. And may those seasons bring you and yours joy and peace. Thank you, Shelley. have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry, and from that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed you have been making commitments in an informal way, all those conversations that were held in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married, and continued with I will and you will, and we will. All those late nights that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, 
all these common things and more are the real process of setting. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamt? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. <laughs> Before this movement, you have been many things to one another, an acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher, and for you have learned much from one another in these past few years. Shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life, and things between you will never be quite the same, for after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. Thank you. Okay, Dan and Heather, these vows which you are about to exchange signify the beginning of your life as husband and wife. So they are very special. Dan, please repeat after me. Heather, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. Heather, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. Having to hold from yeah. this day forward. You're having to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. <laughs> 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 richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Heather, Dan, I take you to be my lawfully wedded husband. Dan, I take you to be my husband. Hopefully, but it has been. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold from the state forward. To have and to hold from the state forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as you will share. Traditionally, the title status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. These rings, such as love, have no beginning and no end. Two lives joined in one unbroken circle. <laughs> Dan, repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And as I place it on your finger, and as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. As it encircles your finger, may it remind you always. As it encircles your finger, may it remind you always that you are surrounded by my enduring love. Okay, Heather. Dan, with this ring, I be wed. I place it on your finger. And as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. As it encircles your finger, as it encircles your finger, may it remind you always, may it remind you always of my enduring love. Of my enduring love. <coughs> Dan and Heather, you have consented in marriage and have declared your solemn intention before your family and friends and in my presence. You have exchanged rings as a pledge of your love for each other and joined hands to accept one another. Now upon the authority vested in me by the province of Saskatchewan, I proudly pronounce you to be husband and wife. Dan, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> yeah.
remember the love that brought you here today. Treat each other with compassion and trust. Laugh together often and enjoy the time to share. Understand each other's differences and give each other space to grow in your marriage will be beautiful. For everything that you wish for can be realized. Congratulations. Please welcome for the first time as husband and wife, Heather and Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that night. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Going to the bar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>